Hi everyone, welcome to the third video of Redux Toolkit tutorial series. In this video, we will set up Redux Toolkit in our application. So let's clone this application. Go to our VS Code and clone it. Now paste our URL. Now our application has been cloned. Let's move to the directory of Redux Toolkit. Redux toolkit now we have to install all the dependencies that is required for this project so click on npm install so let's install the dependencies of react redux and redux toolkit npm i hyphen hyphen save at the rate redux js toolkit and the second library is react redux Let's install it. React Redux is used to connect our React application to Redux. So these two libraries has been installed. Let's open the node modules. So if you scroll down, you will find out I only installed the Redux toolkit. You will see the Redux thumb has already been installed with the Redux toolkit library. And if you search for Immer, there's one library Immer. It was also installed with this application. So you can see Immer library has been installed. So we will discuss more regarding the Immer library in the slice video. So after installing the dependencies, we have to create our Redux folder. So I'll minimize this with node modules. Then inside this store, create the Redux folder. You can decide the architecture of Redux toolkit folder structure according to your requirement for this project purpose. I will move all of the Redux files inside this Redux folder. Let's create our store.js. So now for creating the store, Redux toolkit provides a method configure store. So we have to import configure store from Redux toolkit. Import configure store from add the rate Redux JS toolkit. Now we have to call the configure store and this configure store takes an object and inside the object, the mandatory parameter inside the configure store is reducer. If you don't pass the reducer object, then it will throw you an error. And the best thing of configure store is internally, it calls the combined reducer. So inside the reducer object, you can pass the multiple reducers. We will see in the next video. So for now, we will store the reference of this configure store inside a variable that is const store and we will export this store. That's it. Our empty store has been created, but we have to connect our React app with the Redux. So for that, we will use the React Redux library Let's go to the index.js file and React Redux provide a component that is provider. We have to pass our whole application inside the provider component. So let's pass. Let's call the provider component. And pass our whole application. And we have to import the provider from React Redux. So we will directly import React Redux and inside that we will write provider. Now we have to pass a mandatory prop in the provider that is store. And this particular store prop takes our store that we have created inside the store.js. So we will pass this store variable inside the provider so we'll pass it here so now our react redux setup has been complete for this application now let's start our application our application has been started let's open the developer console so in the developer console you can see we have the redux toolkit and it is 
already initiated for this particular project. So in the Redux toolkit, we don't need to manually configure the Redux dev tools because it is already configured. So this is the beauty of Redux toolkit. In the next video, we will set up our first slice. So let's meet in this next video. Till then, you can set up your application with the Redux toolkit. Thank you for watching this video.